Among the 240 hostages seized by Hamas on October 7th were two dozen Thai nationals. Politicians in Bangkok said just last week that they'd been given assurances that they would be among those released if Hamas were to agree a deal, brokering a truce in Gaza. Well, for more on their plight, let's cross live now to Chiang Mai, where our correspondent Matt Hunt is standing by. Matt, good to have you with us this morning. Thanks for being here. Are we expecting that any Thai nationals will, in fact, be released as part of these first 50 hostages that we should see being freed over the coming days. That's right, Sharon. So it is, what we know is that, uh, according to a statement by Hamas, of the 50 hostages that will be released over the coming days, starting as soon as tomorrow, Friday, none of them are actually said to be Thai. According to the statement from Hamas, they will be Israeli hostages that have been taken since the conflict began on October 7th. However, taking a few steps back to the issue of Thailand in the Middle East, the Thailand has been disproportionately affected as far as its migrant worker population is concerned, because since the early 90s, many Thais have been going to Israel, and at the time of the beginning of this conflict, over 30,000 Thais were working in Israel, and since then, 8,000 of them were repatriated by the Thai government. So approximately two-thirds still remain, some by choice or otherwise. Um, and according to the most recent statement by the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we can still confirm that 26 of the hostages are Thai and that 39 Thais have been killed since the conflict began. Now, that said, the government of Thailand has been releasing statements to the public, such assurances you have already mentioned that the Thais that are being held hostage are being taken care of, that they're in good health, and that they have some sort of assurance that they will be amongst the first group of hostages released. However, unfortunately, that claim is not substantiated, and I cannot confirm that claim. So I think that at the moment, to play it safe, it would be most reasonable to know that Hamas has said that those 50 hostages will be Israeli, and there is no current assurance that the 26 ties being held hostage will be released. However, we will have to wait and see because as mentioned before, this is a very uncertain circumstance. Very Things change every day and the outcome is different day to day. So it's possible that some ties could be released. But as of now, there has been no assurance granted that any of the hostages to be released tomorrow as a part of the ceasefire deal are Thai nationals. Okay, Matt, thank you so much for that. That is our correspondent in Thailand, Matt Hunt.